Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The letter of offer and acceptance LOA for procurement of 24 MH60R multi-role helicopters was concluded between India and US government in February 2020 valued at 2.6 billion dollar for 24 MH60R helicopters, anti-submarine torpedoes, hellfire anti-ship missiles and a guided rocket system to attack small boats. The first three MS-60Rs were delivered in US in the year 2021 and was being utilized for the training of Indian Navy crew. In April 2022, the Indian Navy's first batch of MS-60R Romeo air crew completed their training. The 10-month long course included the conversion training and other advanced qualification on MS-60R helicopters. The crew flew extensively from helicopter maritime stripe squadron and achieved day and night deck landing qualification on board a US Navy destroyer. The crew would be responsible for inducting the versatile Romeo into the Indian Navy. The next three MS-60R helicopters are being inducted at Kochi and two of them were received by Indian Navy at Cochin International Airport on 28th July 2022 and a third helicopter was scheduled to be delivered in August 2022. The delivery of all 24 MS-60 helicopters will be completed by 2025. Indian Navy has a requirement of 123 such heavy-duty helicopters. The MS-60R helicopter is the world's most advanced maritime helicopter. It is the latest naval derivative of a family of helicopters derived from the iconic and famous Sukhoski Black Hawk. It is the most capable naval helicopter available today designed to operate from frigates, destroyers, cruisers and aircraft carriers. It is also referred as Romeo. The induction of state-of-art mission-capable platform will significantly boost the Indian Navy's enhanced capabilities, including anti-submarine warfare, anti-ship strike, a specialized maritime operation, and SAR operation. And how it will achieve all this, we are going to explain today in detail. The MS-60R helicopters feature a spacious and comfortable cabin, which can accommodate three to four flight crew and five passengers. It is a twin-engine, medium-lift utility helicopter configured for anti-submarine operation. Its avionics includes dual controls, Clark's cockpit with four fully integrated 8x10-inch colored multifunctional displays which is compatible with night vision goggle and readable in sunlight. The two major components of MS-60R which makes it deadly are its multi-mode radar and airborne low-frequency sonar or ALFS system. The AN-APS-153 multi-mode radar is integrated with the multifunctional display of the helicopter which provides the crew with independent views of radar data. The radar can be used in long and short-range search, ISAR imaging, small target or periscope detection, short-range SAR and navigation. An IFF interrogator is also integrated internally into the radar's weapon replacement assembly. Now talking about airborne low frequency sonar system, it is AN AQS-22 system which is the primary undersea anti-submarine warfare sensor of the helicopter. The ALFS is integrated with helicopter's MK-54 light torpedo providing the full detect-to-engage anti-submarine warfare capability. Apart from MK-54 torpedo, the helicopter is also equipped with AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missiles and Konsberg Naval Strike Missile with proven sea-skimming capabilities for anti-ship role. These helicopters also come with Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System or APKWS laser guided rockets. The APKWS allows hitting target with improved accuracy and minimal collateral damage which provides a low cost surgical strike capability. This can be used 
against the small boats. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.